I'm so glad that GM still makes this little baby Duramax. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's we're going to be reviewing a lifted GMC Sierra 1500 AT4. First and foremost, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the National GMC here in American Fork, Utah, for giving me some time with this truck. I'll include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And by the way, this truck is available for sale for the time being. If you're interested, reach out to David. He'll be more than happy to help you out. And then on a side note, if you need to save time, money the next time, purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. So under the hood of this truck, we have the three liter inline six Duramax diesel that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. It is good for 277 horsepower and then 460 pound feet of torque. And in the normal AT4, it means that you can average mid twenties with this lift. I'm not so sure about that anymore. Now, before we do the walk around on this AT4, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. First off, I love the color on this one. It's kind of like the metallic, like grayish blue. It's just really cool overall. Now, some key features with the AT4, you guys can see the grill is kind of like darker in coloration and you've got that brushed finish on the trim as well, which is really cool. Giant GMC logo with a the camera there below the logo. You've got the new style of headlights, which kind of more flush with the bodywork. Red tow hooks on the front end parking sensors, and then you guys can see there with the fog lights. Again, all of that comes with the AT4 package. Now you guys get a look at my ugly shadow for a second because we are popping here to the other side. So you guys can see we have this aftermarket tire and wheel set up in <laughs> yeah pretty massive. So first off with the wheel design, I think it looks really cool. If you guys are wondering, the exact setup is 35 by 12 and a half by 22. And it's just crazy. Like look how small it makes the brake rotor look. And yeah, super aggressive tires. Quite a bit of a negative offset as you guys can see front and rear. And then as for the lift, it looks like this has got to be like a six inch lift. This is huge. Yeah, you guys can see that whole set up right there still has the stock rancho shocks that's pretty cool so they've made it work with the stock shocks and then you guys can see here with the fender flare got the duramax badge there inside at4 and then notice with the off-road side steps and then here's your full side view i mean this thing is gigantic look at it that is crazy and then popping to the rear let's see what's happening back here so you can see the leaf springs right there and yeah it looks like we still got the rancho shocks there in the back as well and then some other cool things you got the c-shaped taillights here on the back again more at4 badges they're all over bumper steps as well and then we actually have the dual outlet exhaust tips and then popping over here this is where you're going to fill in the def and then the diesel and voila we've got the new at4 interior so you got like the cool double stack design here and then the seats actually didn't change all that much from the previous uh, AT4. They're a little bit different, but still have like the behind the seat storage, heated seats here for the back. And then popping over here to the front. Again, we got that double stack design AT4 right there. All of our window controls, Bose sound system. An AT4 there on the top of the seat. Love the design of the seats. Oh, definitely got to step up. So uh, don't get into this truck if you uh, just did leg day. That's all I got to say. Love that diesel sound. So with the new truck, we got the full digital gauge cluster here, which is cool. Um, there is a tow mode still. And then you guys can see with the drive modes, we've got our normal and our off-road mode. And then let's see what camera system this one has. So it's got the full 360 camera system. I've got the door open, so some of the viewpoints are kind of blocked out a little bit. But yeah, big fan of the camera system. And then the AT4 comes fully loaded. So you got dual zone climate, you got heated cooled seats, and then you can see all the controls here. So like for the lane departure, big thing, you can turn off the auto stop start if you don't want that. Tailgate drop down, hill descent control. All the windows roll down at once. Uh, this has the G80 system uh, that'll lock up the rear end automatically. And you got the new shift replacement, trail brake controls, and then the new placement for the wireless phone charging pad. Pretty cool center console. And then sunroof. Got the camera mirror as well. And then I love the new dash. So it's kind of hard to see because of the sunlight, but just, I love the design of it overall. Definitely feels a lot more modern compared to the last AT4. But anyways, I just want to see how this lifted truck drives because it's pretty cool. And uh, 
talk about some things, so let's set off. Woo, put on the seatbelt. Now, uh, one thing to mention, this thing has, let's turn on the camera. Let's actually turn that down so you guys don't get blown with noisy wind-like audio. Let's see uh, how the maneuverability is with this truck with these gigantic tires. The camera system definitely helps out like quite a bit with a big truck like this. I'm not gonna say it's like a must have because obviously people have gotten by for plenty of, uh, well, for a long time without having these camera systems, but still nice. Man, I, I guess I don't know the dimensions of this truck very well because like I was not even close to touching those, but like I still kind of, I guess uh, always on edge. I'm like, you know what? Rather be safe than sorry. So much negative offset with this uh, tire and wheel package. Oh, wow. It feels like, am I in four wheel drive? No, I'm in two wheel drive. So like with this setup, it doesn't rub at all, but it does feel like I'm in four wheel drive when I'm in two wheel drive with how little the uh, turning radius is. Just to kind of give you guys an idea. Porky diesel, that's for sure. Yeah, that, that's, re that's really good. The torque is amazing. I'm actually curious to see. Yeah, I guess that we'll just uh, see what our MPG is after driving this, the little test drive. It actually drives really well. Like, I thought this was going to ride really rough, and, you know, with the mud terrain tires, you definitely can feel quite a bit, and you can hear them. But it's not as, it's not as bad as I expected for how lifted this is. Let's see how it does over this little bump. That was my tripod, don't worry. It did pretty it did pretty solid you definitely bounce all over the place i mean that's kind of expected when you're as high off the ground as i am so far we're getting like seven miles per gallon it is increasing though um other stuff uh, seat cover is really good i really like the uh, at4 seats i will say though um they definitely are a little bit on the harder side of things i've kind of noticed that about gm seats I think that it's great if you uh, sit with really good posture, but if you like slouch at all in these seats, uh, it can make them uncomfortable. So I guess that GM is trying to make it so that people have good posture, which, hey, I think that's a, I think that's a good thing. Let's see if I can make it through this circle without having to make a 20 point turn. Woo. Yeah, see like, that's it. That's all I got. Doesn't rub though at all. This thing is so good to drive. Like the torque is amazing. Okay, so continuing along, I'm so glad that GM still makes this little baby Duramax because it just makes vehicles drive so well. So much fun. We're up to 10 miles per gallon, which is great. So yeah, let's kind of uh, get into selling things up here. So I think this truck looks super good. I love the tire and wheel setup. Um, usually I'm not a huge fan of gigantic wheels, but the design of the wheels, I think I think they did a really good job. Um, now, I will say if you want a little bit less tire chatter with this, then uh, what you can do is uh, just do all-terrain tires instead of mud terrain uh, tires and that will get rid of the kind of like, you know, most of the tire noise and then a little bit of the chatter you get with the tires. Um, other stuff that like it drives really well. Being as lifted this is, um, the, only, the only downside I think is just like the turning radius really uh, isn't the best. But other than that, I mean, this diesel has more than enough torque to move this tire and wheel setup. It feels really good. You feel like you're the king of the road in this thing. 
So yeah, and one thing I wanna finish off with is, this is why the AT4 is probably best for most people compared to the AT4X because if you want to lift your truck, the AT4 is really easy to lift and it's inexpensive. Whereas the AT4X with those Multimatic shocks, that's a lot more expensive to lift. And so this is the one to go for if you're going to lift the truck. That's gonna sum things up with our video on this lifted AT4. Again, a huge shout out, thank you to the National GMC here in American Fork, Utah for giving me some time with this truck. Check out the intro in the description down below. I'll see ya.